Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about bias by omission. We'll focus on two types, avoiding coverage of a story and presenting a one-sided story. The first type of bias by omission we're going to talk about is avoiding coverage of a story. Coverage of a story means publishing media messages about an event. So if a media company isn't publishing any stories about a situation, they're avoiding coverage of it. Let's say that a new electronics factory is going to be built in your city. Some people are afraid that the factory will cause a lot of pollution, so they organize a big event to raise awareness of this issue. You might see lots of people talking about this event on social media because they think it's an important story. But maybe there's no story about the event in traditional media, like newspapers or television. When media avoid coverage of an important event, it's probably an example of bias by omission. Second, let's talk about one-sided stories. When we say that a story or media message is one-sided, we mean that there is only one point of view being presented. For example, you see a news story about the electronics factory that is going to be built in your city. In the story, you hear about the opinions of various people who think the factory is a great idea. These people include a person who will work in the new factory, and the manager of the factory, and a politician who helped bring the factory to your city. Also in the story are some statistics about how many new jobs will be created. Based on the opinions of these people and the statistics, you might be convinced that the new factory will be a good thing. After all, everything in the article sounded very positive. But we might not yet have all the information we need in order to decide our own opinion. There might be some points of view missing from the story. For example, will there be any negative effects from the new factory that are left out of the story? Will it cause pollution? Will the city have to spend more money on roads leading to the factory or extra police to keep the factory safe? We don't know if there are any negative effects because the news story only showed a positive point of view. We're missing information about any other points of view. We can say that the news story probably wasn't objective. Being objective means being fair and based on facts instead of opinions. In order to be objective, a news story should show more than one point of view. For example, it should show people who agree with a topic and people who disagree with it. Otherwise, we might end up with a one-sided story. Now that we've looked at two types of bias by omission, you might wonder why this situation happens. One reason is when media companies have a conflict of interest. When we talk about media, a conflict of interest is a situation where there might be biased coverage due to business or political reasons. In this case, the job of the media companies is to publish objective stories. If there are positive and negative things about the new electronics factory, for instance, the media companies should publish both points of view. But maybe the new factory is a business partner with the media company, perhaps through buying advertising. If the media company publishes a negative point of view about the factory, it might damage their business relationship. Therefore, the media company might not do their job honestly, and we might see bias in their coverage of the new factory. To summarize, we've talked about two types of bias by omission, one-sided stories, which have bias because they aren't objective, and avoiding coverage of a story, which might happen due to a conflict of interest. Next, we're going to read about a possible instance of bias by omission in Facebook. 